just by paying attention to the timelines that's been laid out here in terms of weaponry, troops, equipment, how long they expect things to go down in certain areas in terms of South Korea, Japan, these drills, and the deployment of the THAAD system and now this U.S. Global Hawk high-altitude drone that they're going to be using. It all keeps bringing back up October. They're going to be here until October. October, October. So we know that there's going to be a shift in the personnel that's going to be involved in some of these drills when October rolls around. And they're going to take this drone out of the area, so they're saying, come October as well. But what they're doing with this Global Hawk is they're saying they're trying to keep an eye on what's happening with North Korea. They're going to launch this thing from Japan. It apparently just took off from Guam, landed in Japan. They're going to launch it from Japan, and once it gets up to 50,000 feet, it's going to be remotely controlled from the U.S. mainland. So this is part of the 69th Reconnaissance Group Detachment 1. They say it marks the beginning of a five-month mission for this drone. Now, they're apparently going to be sending more. They say down here that four other Global Hawk drones and around 105 personnel currently based at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam are scheduled to arrive in Yokota, very soon. So you're going to have more personnel, more drones arriving, and they're saying they're going to be monitoring anything that goes down, any tests, any launches. And you can imagine they've got these things equipped with all kinds of technology. They could have secret weapons on them, EMP tech. I mean, they have some of the best camera systems, uh, detection systems, you name it, on these drones. So I just wanted to make note, this is the latest in terms of military equipment being deployed to this region. And once again, it brings up that time frame of October. I will continue to update. I'll leave links below. This has been Davu7. Eyes to the skies.